Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 9th of 2022, well, it is titled Auroras over Northern Canada. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the scenery in the foreground and up in the sky, we see the aurora. Now, this is an image taken in northern Canada near the town of Yellowknife. And we are looking at the aurora up here in the sky. Now, aurora are very prominent at far northerly and far southerly latitudes. So they're not common in the tropical areas. And this is because the aurora are caused by Earth's magnetic field as it funnels particles from the sun toward the magnetic poles. So those charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field. Charged particles don't like to cross magnetic field lines, so they follow around them until they come into Earth's atmosphere. And that is where that funnels all of these particles. And as they strike oxygen atoms in the upper Earth's atmosphere, it causes them to glow. And the oxygen gives off a distinctive green glow that we associate with the aurora. Although you can also get reds and purples, uh, depending on exactly where you are hitting them in the upper atmosphere. But these are not the oxygen molecules that we breathe low down. These are single oxygen atoms very high up in the atmosphere that gives us the aurora. Now the amount and strength of aurorae that we see depend on the activity of the sun. Because while our magnetic field funnels the particles, they are created by the sun. So the more active the sun is, the more particles we will see. So right now we are seeing more, more activity as our sun is coming out of a very low minimum of activity. Uh, over the last few years and now starting to become far more active and par charged particles are, are being emitted more often and then are coming of course towards Earth and giving us things like the aurora. So over the coming years, we should see far more aurora and more intense ones. And that also means that they will be visible at more southerly latitudes as a more intense storm or solar flare will push particles out with much higher energy and can distort Earth's magnetic field, allowing us to then see uh, aurora at much further southerly latitudes than we are used to seeing. So we will see them closer to the equatorial regions, still not generally in the tropical regions, but things like the northern United States will be able to see far more aurora than we are used to and certainly than we typically see during a solar minimum. So that was our picture of the day for October 9th of 2022. It was titled Auroras over Northern Canada. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be double lunar analemma. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.